Let's look at the meaning behind the title of each Better Call Saul episode in Season 6. If you haven't already, check out the previous season videos linked now. The opening song during the black and white fakeout is called Days of Wine and Roses. That's also a movie about a couple who enters a downward spiral. Sounds like foreshadowing to me. You're gonna use the stick, right? <sighs> the stick, yeah, well, it's a big stick. It's huge. But I know these people. They're more carrot types. And we didn't deserve any of this. Okay. Enough carrot. <sighs> Adios, hijo. Adios, papa. Nacho's between a rock and a hard place throughout this episode and sacrifices his life to save his father's life. Michael Mando, the actor who plays Nacho, has compared this phone call to the legend of Orpheus, who goes through hell to save his love on the condition that he can never see her again. Jesus. Howard? You've mistaken my kindness for weakness. Besides the literal axe, Kim has an axe to grind against Howard. It happens today. I think a recess is in order. Going into this episode, we knew that Jimmy and Kim were finally executing the big con they've been planning all season. Now, Howard, please. But execution has a dark double meaning. This took planning and... You point and you shoot and you keep on pulling that trigger until it's empty. Now, you pull out the camera. Same principle as the gun. Point and shoot. Besides the stated double meaning applied to the gun and the camera, Lalo's specific point and shoot advice takes an ironic turn against him. You point and you shoot and you keep on pulling that trigger until it's empty. I didn't want that. <sighs> because I was having too much fun. As the old saying goes, it's all fun and games until <laughs> someone loses an eye. What happened to poor Nippy? Uh, it was my fault. Uh, I was driving with the windows open you know, before all this hit. And I don't know, something got into him. Maybe he saw a cat or something, but he jumped. Oh, no. I pulled right over, and I'm screaming my head off, Nippy! No, yes, Gene breaks bad in this episode, but this episode also covers events shown in Breaking Bad from different angles and with some gaps filled in. The title of that Breaking Bad episode was... Better Call Saul! <laughs> Breaking Bad's Better Call Saul episode was the introduction of Saul. Oh, oh no, 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 in the series finale, Saul is gone once Jimmy takes responsibility for everything. Mr. Goodman, sit down and stay seated. The name's McGill. I'm James McGill. And it's also like saying it's all gone when it comes to the series and even the entire Breaking Bad universe as far as we know. The season six titles follow a clear pattern of two things joined together while Jimmy and Kim are still together and that pattern breaks once they break up. That concludes our examination of Better Call Saul's episode titles. What other videos would you like to see? Please let me know and please subscribe.